This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, well guess what? Miniature Market has done it yet again and they do it all the time because Miniature Market's the very best. I mean, what do you expect? <sighs> Wrath of Kings is going on sale. A lot of the stuff is going to be anywhere from 50 to 70% off. Now, this very box set, which we were given away on our, our um, four-year anniversary, is only 18 bucks. $18. You're going to want to check this out. Now, listen. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to now show you guys how I painted some of this and some gameplay that I have done in a video past. So we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to talk a little bit about this. But what I really want to show you is that if you go to the site and you see all the wonderful models, just getting this Battle of Ravenwood, you are able to add so much to it and really have a really great experience with it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the game, show you how it goes together, and also show you how to paint it. Without further ado, hey, let's head down and get started. Well, here what you see is some of the beautiful models that they have. Uh, this is one of the warriors here, just absolutely fantastic. Um, really easy to, to put together. Uh, the only problem that I had was the two front pieces that were a little tough and the back things. Uh, I'm going to use an army built uh, army painter uh, paint on these guys. And I really find that it works really well. And an ash gray because I really wanted to bring out some of the things. And painting were easy. And as you can see, I'm showing how detailed these are. They're very, very detailed. And you get a lot for eight, that $18. You really, really should take a look at this. Now, I'm painting these up and getting them where we need to be. And just just such a, an enjoyable experience. They were a lot of fun. Of course, I can't hold on to the miniature, which is nothing new. And, uh, you know, a lot of dry brushing, just being very concise and painting these up. Uh, very, very easy to get that box set painted up. For 18 bucks, it's just a little bit of paint uh, goes a long way. You get tons of model, but you get a squadron and a couple of leaders on each side and you can build from there. Or you can just play that box for what it is. That box set, which I have right here, a matter of fact, that we're looking at, and you can see, you know, I I'm showing some techniques on how to dry brush these over. And I'm really just getting a good wash in there. But this this here comes with everything that you see in it. All right, even though this is the little window, <laughs> you know, you you get quite a bit. You, you get both sides. And listen, if you check the website, they've got tons of stuff that they're giving away for fifty to seventy percent off. Now here's one of the leaders. A really easy uh, paint job there. I got all the base colors on there. And it really looks nice. Well, you know, I, I just really enjoyed uh, getting that together. And um, really, really just a simple job there. And here I'm putting a wash over, which you could see really brings out a lot of that detail that we were talking about. Now, listen, are, are these GW models? No, there's no way. Uh, what is, to be honest with you? But these are very detailed. I like the plastics. The plastics work really, really well with this. And, um, you know, getting the wash on there and then starting, you know, like I like to darken these down and then brighten them back up. And you see now that we have it nice and dry, uh, I put a wash over the horns. Um, and we're, we're going to start bringing some of that. We're, we're going to start bringing out that detail. And they do have a lot of detail. And uh, you can see um, right here, exactly. Uh, we're just touching things up, making sure that uh, we cover all the things that are already screwed up on it. <laughs> but you can see I, I added in the lines. It also comes 
with a fantastic booklet which shows you how everything looks. The cards are what is really important there. Um, the cards show each model uh, and, and gives a breakdown of all their stats. And I think that's one of the things that really makes this stand out is how you can um, you really see all the stats and everything on these cards. Now I'm using an XV88. I'm going to lighten up uh, some of that brown. And I'm really going to make that sit up and really... Uh, take notice really easy they're not a lot of pieces that you you need uh, the nice thing about this is you're going to get your quick start rules and you get you know not only do you get rules but you're going to get some scenery in here along with these and each model is individually packed so that model there all the sprues and everything you're not looking for anything they're individually packed away in there which makes it a lot easier and like I said uh, the cards are what make the difference here and it really really helps with, with the cards because you're going to be able to see what you want to paint like for instance here you know while we're while I'm uh, dry brushing everything out there we have the Ashman Swordsman that we were just looking at a little while ago and here's the Longhorn that I am actually working on now you have the entire color scheme on the card, uh, gives you what base that it belongs onto. All the information you need is on this card, and this game is played with a D10. Uh, so it really makes a difference, and it comes with a bunch of D10s too, which I'll show you. Matter of fact, while well, I'm just dry brushing along there, and you see we get we get a whole bunch of D10s. You get health markers, uh, and uh, the, the bases, you can build out those bases any way you want to build out those bases. And they're, it's not, again, it's a, not a hard system. It's not a tough thing to put, put together. Um, they have some perfect uh, uh, quick start rules. They give you a nice quick start guide here, which I'm going to pull out and some initial scenarios that you're going to get now look you can see how easy and quick i was able to paint these up and here is the start rules but it also shows you some of the other kits that you can get to help build this out and the real great thing about it is you're going to be able to look on the miniature market site and be able to uh, decipher what you think is really going to fit you and the different factions as well you know and now we're down to gameplay here. It's 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 on. We're just playing this on a three by three table. Um, they have a, a nice little map that you can get for it, which is inexpensive. It's a, a neoprene map, and uh, you know a couple pieces of terrain, and you're off and running, and you're off and playing this. And as you can see, you really don't need a lot. It, everything's based off. You have all those cards that you are going to lay out. And it tells you everything that you need. All your damage and everything that happens is rolled off a D10. That's all on your card. Um, uh, it, it, we all, it also comes with a quick start rules, which is going to show you basically everything that you need. As you can see, I have it off to the left of me there. Uh, it's going to give you everything that you need. Uh, you know, m mobility is a big thing so you know that's on the card and everything's ruled out in inches really simple system willpower uh, that's another thing that's a, a big thing with this is that the, the that number willpower is the maximum amount of inches that a model can be moved oh i'm sorry <laughs> the number represents a model's willpower it does nothing on its own several effects and abilities might reference this number so you're gonna have willpower check and that's gonna kinda uh, really really uh, you know it's more or less like your morale in a lot of ways then resiliency how tough it is to damage a model uh, how many wounds uh, a model can take so everything's on these cards uh, mobility of course mobility is just movement and you know as you can see here we're battling out and we're figuring everything out and it's it's a real 
again easy system now once you damage you're going to roll on a chart and you're going to see what kind of damage is going to cause uh, how many wounds it might be more than one wounds it, it, you may be able to get a critical and actually kill the model outright so there's a lot of really cool variances that go with this and you can see we're just rolling around and of course I think I rolled a critical right there so uh, yeah I just killed that guy just like that and uh, you can see uh, <laughs> how easy it was uh, all you gotta do is roll tens right <laughs> so again uh, we're, we're showing how the cards affect things that you're going to take certain wounds there'll be misses but you roll on a d10 and how it affects that particular model is built into the card and let me see if i can show you guys and you can see that you know that really looks pretty pretty nice and it's just a simple setup that we have there that that's nothing really that's standing out i mean we're not playing on anything you know we don't have this extensive table we are just we just threw down the map, threw down a couple of pieces that I had, and we were just off and running. And it comes with two rulers. Uh, use your own if you like. But like I was telling you, when I rolled that perfect 10, and hopefully we can get that in there. There we go. Uh, you can see right here, there are different types of effects that are going to happen when you wound. And uh, it's going to do some damage. And... Uh, it, it, the cards also play that once you do all your movement and your attack, you can actually, you know, turn them to the side to basically say, okay, I remembered I used the use this unit, I use that unit, because it's going to help when you do uh, a bigger, more extensive battle, and uh, that's the way uh, things really work. And you could just see this is just a good, solid system. That is a lot of fun. It was something that, that I really enjoyed uh, playing. We had a great time doing it. We had a great time painting it too. Um, just just a ton of fun for sure. And uh, you can get this set. Yep, you got it. 18 bucks at Miniature Market. And there's other things there that are even cheaper and more models. So I really think this is something that you are really going to to enjoy for sure so there we go and, and I'm just man, I'm really stomping them pretty badly actually I didn't realize how badly I won well there you have it guys check it out fantastic fantastic sale this is a very good solid miniature game that is going for up to 70% off on stuff. You can get into this for very few dollars, very, very, very few bucks and really have a f just a fantastic time playing this game. A form of cool mini or not game. You are going to love this and it is solid. It is fun and you don't need a lot of space to play it. And uh, I, I, for the price, it is absolutely ridiculous ridiculous what you can get this for check it out i don't think you'll be disappointed and you saw the gameplay it's solid we, we had a great time playing it i think i think you can't go wrong here on this one so wrath of kings check it out i think you're really gonna like it it's on sale at our great friends at miniature market where else is it gonna be on sale for i mean come on let's be real until next time it's your old pal rob We'll see you soon.